mean, it will take years, not quarters, for the travel industry to recover, yes? Yeah, the situation of COVID has impacted the industry, as you were very well said. Uh, and it's very hard to predict how the future will look like. But for sure, with the restrictions that we're having, international travel will not be back to volumes that we've seen for the next couple of years. Uh, in a few years, it's going to be something that, that we're going to see. While domestically, indeed, we are seeing a recovery in some countries, and definitely also in APEC. You talk about betting on domestic travel, but that really differs within Asia itself as well. I mean, the likes of Singapore, the likes of Hong Kong, there's no domestic travel to speak of. Uh, how do you see this? True, we're seeing that domestically picking up in countries like Taiwan, Thailand, uh, Australia, in other countries as the ones that you mentioned, or, or even India, Indonesia, Philippines, that is harder. It's harder because each country is in a different situation with, uh, with COVID but also because uh, several travel restrictions are also uh, making it very hard. That's why uh, we are focusing in making sure that domestic travel is, is very well served and trying to help our partners and our customers that they still want to travel domestically. They indeed want to stay close to home, but the eagerness and the willing to travel is still there. Uh, Angel. How, how do you stay agile during this time? Do you cater more towards some of these short-term rentals, uh, towards more of the airline segments versus hotel business? We've seen other OTAs actually venture into online tours as well. I mean, how are you kind of staying nimble at the moment? Yeah, what we always do in, in booking is try to follow the, the customer needs and their preferences. And we have seen what we call alternative accommodations picking up in the last months. By alternative accommodations, we mean uh, houses, apartments, uh, reorgans, uh, all the non-traditional uh, type of accommodations. Therefore, uh, what we're trying to do is to cater to those needs, making sure that booking those type of accommodations is as good as possible. And also at the same time, uh, being very conscious that the customers and travelers, they are indeed very uh, interested in anything which has to do with safety and health protocols. So as much more content we can do in that sense, the better, because what we want to do is install trust in the customer. Uh, what about for, for the Golden Week holiday? Obviously, everyone's watching how the China re resumption is going to, to play out, especially domestically. Do you think the travel market can bounce back to growth now, now that ch the Chinese can't travel overseas? Well, look, uh, China is indeed an extremely important uh, country for the travel industry. The amount of, of customers that, from an outbound perspective, they are they're ready to, to send abroad is huge and is massive. Although, at the same time, we have to be very conscious that still today, travel, international travel, it's, uh, it's a, in a complex situation. There are still lots of quarantine processes. There are still countries that you cannot travel to even from China. Therefore, we have to be cautious with, with that piece. While domestically, I think that for China business is going to be indeed quite good, and we're seeing that pick up already. Uh, international, we have to be cautious, and we cannot predict because situation is changing week over week in different countries. So it's very hard to be uh, optimistic. So we have to be cautious with with what we're seeing for the future. Uh, cautious for China, but what kind of recovery? Are there any numbers you can share with us? Yeah, we see indeed uh, domestically are recovering quite a bit. And uh, again, it's uh, for the future, it's very hard because we, we cannot predict how the COVID situation will be. Therefore, uh, while we are seeing a nice peak um, domestically in certain markets in Asia Pacific and China being uh, one of those, it's very hard to say exactly how the forecast in the next quarters it will be. Now, we still believe that domestically it's going to be the most important piece to, uh, to participate, to be focused on, and that is what we are catering for. We talk about how we're a long, long way away from a recovery in the travel sector. Are, are we looking at more consolidation within the industry? What kind of survival rates are we anticipating? Well, in these situations, you always can, can expect uh, some degree of, of consolidation in certain aspects, right? And in the hotel industry, you've seen that happening in the past. So we have to be nimble and agile to understand what it's going to look like in the future. From our side, what we're still trying to do is to making sure that our strategy, that our size of the company, that the business that we are able to generate towards our partners and towards the customers, is in the best place as possible. And this is what we're doing. 
we're going to be catering for this new situation in our, our company, our platform, and uh, looking forward, domestic is going to be extremely important. And Angel, this crisis is also an opportunity for, uh, you know, the tourism sector to rethink about the future of tourism. And what discussions are you having? Because we know that you're also having discussions with, with governments on this. Yeah, how, how it's going to look like traveling in the future, it's just, uh, we, we're going to see. Uh, for now, what we're seeing definitely is to making sure that uh, because of the uncertainty of travel, to make sure that our customers have the best type of rates possible with flexible cancellation, flexible policies. If you want to cancel your travel, you should be able to. We're trying to avoid also uh, paying advance and as much flexible we can be in that sense, the better. So that's from the uh, customer perspective, things that I'm sure that it will change in, in the travel industry. From the government's type of uh, situation, the more that we can cooperate, the better. I think there's room still to improve the relationships with the different stakeholders in the industry with the governments, with ourselves, in order to make sure that we have transparency in the decisions that are going to be taken, such as which are the travel corridors that are going to be open in the future, uh, how we can cooperate uh, in advance in order to make sure that the demand is going to be there for, for our partners, for ourselves, and for the customers. So there is uh, a lot of room to improve that in that sense.